What's up YouTube? It's your boy Josh Reese back at it again with another video. Go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe and we'll get right into it. So today we're going to be talking about your undergrad experience in college and how you can shave up to two, maybe even sometimes more years off of your undergrad potentially. Now uh, you might be wondering, you know, why would I want to you know shave time off my undergrad it's great i'm partying i'm having the time of my life i'm meeting good friends right and you think you know what i just want to uh extend this out well that's probably not going to be the best thing for you to do um if you are someone who's planning on going to graduate school and have a high earning job every year you sacrifice in um un your undergrad is one year of your potential highest earning years. So, you know, just say you, you're gonna be a physician one day, one year in your undergrad could be worth to you, you know, almost $500,000 because if you get to work one more year in your job as, as a physician, uh, you'll be able to have one more year to get to your higher earning potential earliest and at the highest you'd be making at that job, um, you'd be sacrificing one year of that. Uh, and you could have potentially retired or, you know, ended up with that much money. So every year, every moment you sacrifice in your undergrad with um, not knowing what you want to do or uncertainty or stuff like that is potentially sacrificing you money, stability, uh, happiness. Um, right now that you could really reach and get and, and take back, take your life back. So um, we're going to get right into it. These are a few tricks that you can do to, to save you um, graduating in college. I know um, that where I go to at BYU, um, some people, you know, had nicknamed it uh, the five-year undergraduate uh, at BYU because most things take four years, but... Um, some classes are hard and you have to retake classes and spend a year or two not knowing what you want to do. And, and you end up um, taking five years to finish a four-year degree. Uh, that's what a lot of people do. So, and honestly, what I've seen about friends and family that have, have gone to undergrad here, that's exactly what happens is, is that you um, waste a year or two um, um, doing things you are unintentionally aware of. So uh, my first tip to you all is take advantage of high school uh, concurrent enrollment programs. So um, back where I'm from in Washington, we called that running start. I know um, other people just call it concurrent enrollment, things like that, where your high school will offer you classes at a community college and you could potentially graduate with your associate's degree. Now that is two years off of college right there. That means you're going to finish your undergraduate two years old earlier without any sweat, right? Um, you get your associate's degree by the time you graduate. How beautiful that could be. Now I know that some colleges don't transfer these credits and, and maybe you're not able to finish your associate's degree completely by the end of your high school but it's still going to give you credits that will help you towards your future. And that'll be, um, you know, very, very important as we talk about, um, right, you going through your undergrad. The next thing is AP and IB credits. Now, personally, um, I don't know why I didn't do concurrent enrollment. Um, I know a lot of people that did, but I did, I chose to do AP instead. Now, what AP or IB can do if you're, if you're, um, high school offers either of these programs is they can give you for a class you take for a year in high school could give you a semester's worth of college credit now say you took uh, biology in high school you could get three years of or three credits or a semester off of biology in college now a lot of people if you take one or two AP classes that's better than nothing